All right. Well, we're sitting at 102.2 yards. It says Rangemaster, 2800.com from Leica. All right, so what are we doing out here, guys? Cutable 32 here. Check it out. Forgot that part. Uh, so we've got the Elite build, and the Elite build used to have the old handguard on it. And then last week when we brought it out here, it was, well, let's just say it shot horribly. So led me to believe that we needed to go ahead and get the carbon out of the barrel, get the copper out of the barrel, redo the copper equilibrium on the barrel, which we did yesterday. And I was able to put together, uh, with the exception of a flyer, about a half inch group. Uh, 1.2 with the flyer. <laughs> and you got to count those. But with MagTech, I expect that there's not going to be the standard deviation that we're looking for, like we would find in, say, uh, Black Hills. So, what I'm trying to do today is establish a baseline for a bunch of different ammunition that I have purchased. And I did all this purchasing a long time ago before all the craziness happened. So what we're doing today, uh, I've got the new handguard on here and I am pretty sure we're not making any contact with that uh, kinetic development detachable uh, pick rail. And I've got it all the way back here in case somebody wants to ask because there's not enough room because of the gas block up here. I will tell you this, this uh, handguard is very, very stiff and does not have any flex in it hardly. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna start off uh, with about seven different brands of ammo, a couple of them you've probably heard of. One is this right here, Defender Ammo. This is their 77 grain Sierra Match King. Uh, out of a 20 inch barrel, you're supposed to get 2,700 feet per second. What I want to do is I don't care about velocities right now. I want to know what I'm, what's more uh, consistent. I'm going to shut up. So I've got the camera down there uh, with some little uh, one inch targets. I hope like hell I don't hit my camera. I uh, <laughs> thought I was okay and I came back and I was like, oop, let's reposition that guy. So like I said, the first set that we're gonna start off with is the Defender Ammo at a 102.2 yards. There we go. Here, let's do this. All right, so I will tell you this, I'm shooting with the 2.5 to 10 primary arms. This is their GLX. The guys, the glass on this thing and the eye relief is pretty incredible. And you don't run into a whole lot of problems. Now, the reticle on this is the Chevron tip. Blew something off the back of that thing. Oh. All right, and what we're doing also is I'm doing five round shot groups, okay? Not three round, five rounds. So that was the Defender Ammo. Hey, they're right there in North Carolina. Uh, I know that uh, my friend X-Ring speaks very highly of those guys. All right. So let the cool barrel cool down a little bit, and we'll get started with the next roundup. All right, so the next series of ammo we're going to go with is this. This is the Hornady Match 223 75 grain boat tail hollow point. This is actually one of my favorite rounds to reload. The, billi the <laughs> ballistic coefficient on these things is phenomenal, like 590 something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Somewhere along in there. But anyway, let's go ahead and shoot that. This is going to be the top left. Well, what I can see, the fender 
is leading the way so far. Let's let this barrel cool down for a couple minutes and we'll start over with the next guys. Okay, so our next series is going to be this. These are, well, I don't know if there's anything different, but this is the 556 75 grain. These are the 223 75 grain. These are the performance match from Hornady. Fire from a 20 inch barrel. Uh, should be getting, wow, 2,900 feet per second. Good Lord Almighty. What are these guys getting? 2,790. All right, might get some blown primers. Let's give these. These are the super performance match. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Hmm. A little inconsistency there. All right. Let's let this thing cool down. Let's keep them going. Okay. So our next group of the batch is the uh, MagTech 77 grain open tip match. Now, these are the cheapos of the bunch. These come in at about 50 cents a round if you can find them. Uh, since then, I think MagTech has discontinued making these guys. I was fortunate enough, I got about 2,000 rounds before they stopped selling them. So I'm real happy about that because this is just a good, economical 77 grain boat tail hollow point open tip match that uh, does a great job and economical. So if you've got a high round count uh, match that you're going to, uh, you've got a bunch of long distance stuff, you're not really looking for that super uh, low standard deviation. This is the stuff. What am I saying? It's good economical stuff, but unfortunately they don't make it anymore. But we're testing it out anyway. Let's do this. Middle left. Wind's kicking. Let's let that die down. Okay. Not bad. Let's get on to the next. Okay, so this next group I'm pretty excited about because this was the original uh, set of bullets or rounds, ammunition, now that it's raining, uh, that I tested for accuracy with this between this and the Akon 1. And this, these rounds, literally, it was stupid. So the wind's down. We've got a little bit of rain. So let's, uh, let's get started on this one. Here we go. Middle right. All right, well, that opened up a little bit. There got my rain. Rain, rain, go away. All right, let's, uh, let's let the barrel cool down for a few minutes, and then we'll start off with the next one. Here we go. Okay, so these are the Nosler match grade. Now, again, guys, one of the things I am going to do is I'm probably going to go ahead and try these out on my uh, DMR rifle as well as my backup three-gun rifle. Uh, you know the story behind the nozzle 77 green. So let's go ahead and get this thing going before we get rained out. It sounds a lot worse than it is. Bottom left. There 
Oops. Five. All right. And one last time, the Mac Daddy. These are the Black Hills 556 five, tipped. So let's go ahead and pop five of those in there. Okay. <laughs> we got a little rain going on, but that's not going to stop us. Here we go. Bottom right. Damn, son. Okay, so that's surprising as hell right there. Uh, let me go up and get my target before it gets rained too much. I want to get that on record. Here we go. All right, so after that, we what did we learn? Well, uh, I learned that I probably want to go ahead and try the Defender ammo just a little bit more. I think that, that uh, with a, some spending some time with it, uh, it, it could really be a good, good ammo for this barrel. <laughs> yeah, so one of the things I did learn is that Sierra Match Kings, the tipped, my gun did not like that at all. Doesn't mean that your gun won't like it or somebody else's gun won't like it, but mine sure as hell didn't. Uh, let's see what else. The Sig Elite did pretty good. Uh, Hornady, not worth the money if I'm going to be uh, using it in competition and not getting the groups that I would want out of it. The uh, Nosler did pretty good. Probably worth another go around with that. But at the end of the day, I got uh, this guy right here for the money, the 77 grain MagTech. Now, the problem with the MagTech, again, is that they don't make them anymore. Or I don't think they make them. If they do, let me know. You guys may know something I don't. But I will tell you this. That's not a bad group. Sig Elite's not a bad group. And the Defender, I got two down here, three up there. The rest of the stuff, I'd say in order, I'd have to go ahead and, and put a measurement to each one. The Sig Elite probably did the best with a uh, little under a one-inch group. The, uh, I would say that the Nosler, MagTech, and the Defender. Let me go ahead and shoot this stuff with the uh, Ballistics X and see how it looks. Here we go, stand by. Okay, so what we've done is I went ahead and put it through the Ballistics X deal. Uh, I didn't even bother with the Black Hills because it's just no reason to. Uh, Nosler was a 1.01. .01. The Sig Elite came out at 0 0.89. Uh, Defender was like a 1.17. I think I could really probably do better with that. And then the MagTech was 1.17 uh, with that flyer right there. But this is the, the thing I'm concerned about right there. That's perfect. The Sig Elite was the most consistent out of the, all of them, as well as the Nosler right here. So let's do this. We are going to, because I have to do this, I need to know where my point of impact will be with the 55 grain Federal. So we're going to do 55 grain, Sig Elite, Defender, and MagTech one more time. I have to make sure that these things are right. Once we do that, all I got to do is zero in with my uh, Platinum 1 to 8 and calibrate for the impacts to hit in a 10 inch circle out to uh, five or 600 yards and we're golden. Here we go. Stand by. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start off with the 55 grain Federal. I don't know why I didn't include the Nosler in this whole group, but I think Sig Elite, Defender, MagTech, uh, let's see how those perform after this whole thing. Here we go. I'm going to try to get her down a little bit. Dig her down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't even ready for that one. 
All right, that ain't a bad group for 55 grand, except it's shooting about three inches high, about four or five inches high, actually. Okay, so on a paper uh, I, USPSA or IDPA target, those wouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and uh, let's pop five more rounds of the SIG Elite. I want to take my time on these and concentrate and uh, try not to pull them out. So we got one. Again, this glass is just really clear. SIG Elite. Ah, uh, bastard. All right, Sig, I need a sponsorship. We're going down to the USPSA Multi-Gun Nationals. Oh, by the way, I think you're sponsoring it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do uh, the Defender Ammo. That's lights out, man. Damn defender ammo. I hear you. And these guys are right there in North Carolina, like I said earlier. They are uh they're also affordable. I have to give you guys a call. Alright, 77 grain mag tech. Hold that one. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I love doing this kind of stuff. This is what I live for. Let's go get that target and talk about it for a second, shall we? All right, so let's talk about this real quickly. <laughs> Well, we did a, uh, a nice, about an inch and a half group up there with a 55 grain. I'm happy about that. I just have to know that if I'm going to be engaging paper targets out to 100 yards, I don't have any problems with that. Uh, with a 100 yard zero on the big stuff. Uh, consistency is the name of the game. Sig Elite right here. Uh, this time was a .79. And uh, last time it was .89. Defender was a 1.21. That flyer just killed the group. But, I mean, it is what it is. The MagTech came in at a 1.09. It was a 1.17 on the last go-around. Being in it, I've got, like I said earlier, I've got several thousands or about 1,500 rounds of that stuff. I'm going to probably end up shooting it until I run out. But I will tell you this. The winner of the day is uh, definitely that SIG Elite uh, 77 grain. The consistency of, is just... Uh, that's something else. But anyway, guys, this is the fun part. This is uh, getting ready for... Well, put a, a good rifle together. It doesn't have to be competition or anything else, but if it's the challenge. It's it's getting it to where it needs to be and being the best that it, you can be and finding the best ammo that fits your specific firearm. Now, with that being said, uh, I hope you like these kind of videos. Uh, these are interesting. They're not political. They're not anything else, uh, but they are what they are. It's fun. And we're going to continue moving forward that track and getting ready for the Nationals down there in Florida that are sponsored 
by SIG. And I didn't do that just to get, you know, a good on them. But anyway, <laughs> Scatterboy32, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about those girls and those guys that fight for our constitutional rights as they were written and by our founding fathers. Not as it interpreted by these assholes out there these days. Code of War 32, I'm out. Oh, like and share and all that other cool stuff. I'll be good.